fucking f how many times do I gotta fail? That's better. All I wanted was my audio to be on freaking point with me, but no, it was behind. I really don't want to take the time to sit there and up my health for everybody. Fuck that. Gone, what brings you here? Hi, again. Get ready. Yes, he's gonna change into more battle ready outfit. I'm back. Sorry, wait, Poir. Huh? Hey, gone. A little sparring match? Hey, you wanna fight me? Yeah, I told her to train under King Kai after I died in the fight against the Saiyans. Well, I haven't had an opportunity to show off what I learned. Oh, it's, it's, it's brutal training for nothing. Damn! You were there, so I bet you had a good judge on my strength. That's why I want to fight you. What's your idea? Okay. I owe you one. Let's do this. I hate that they do that! Oh, every time they do that, they knock me back. I don't really care to figure out this game's shitty as battle mechanics. I just want to beat it already. Why not do some research and see if there's a, a worse application than OBS to use? I think I had gurism luck on my hidden power, so I still should have. Ah. Are you alright, Yamcha? Yeah, I'm fine. Excuse me? I said I'm fine. I'll be honest, this sucks. I can't believe that this is the best I can do after all that hard work. Yeah, OBS. I'm using better than OBS. I'm using slobs, which is a combination of Streamlabs and OBS. I'm not using OBS anymore. And no, there's nothing. Why do you think I read your message wrong? Why do you think I said, why not do some research and see if there's a worse app than OBS to use? Because there's nothing. Yes, there actually is. There is things. There is other things, but nothing. 
There's one other application that I couldn't use, but I might as well just not use it because again, nothing. No, even if it was better, I'm not swapping to anything else. I'm comfortable with slobs. I'm sticking with it. <laughs> if you think OBS is what's causing my issues with my volume mixing, no other program is going to do any damn difference. Trust me. Hmm. <laughs> it's not the program. It's not the program I'm using to stream. Huh? <laughs> it's me not knowing how to understand how to s op swap mix up mod audio. Because I suck at everything I do. May I ask how many times do I got to say this to everyone on stream before they realize it? I really am not. I really don't think that I'm that good at anything. I'm not even on. I'm not. To be honest, you guys may come in and see that I'm not happy. I'm actually happy. This is me being optimist. I'm being optimistic right now. I'm going to tell you this right now. A lot of the negative negativity you guys claim I think I have about myself is actually positive, to be fair. Just throwing that out there right now. If you want to think it's negative, go forth. But it's not. It's actually happy. It's actually positive. Because I'm telling you the straight up truth. But if my game didn't shut off on me earlier, I would not be as depressed and upset as I am. On top of trying to get my stream to look as good and be quality for you guys, and how many times I spend wasting many, many sleepless nights just to get my shit to look good for you guys. And then out of nowhere, no one seems to tell me how it all is in the end. And then I like literally get little to no one chatting and then I get this to happen again and again and again. Yeah, it, it, uh, it's depressing. Very depressing. But no, I'm not sad. I'm not upset. I'm actually happy. I'm actually in a good mood. It's just... This upset me, is all. Sorry for what? It's not your fault that I suck at doing shit like this. You like way down here? Yeah. I wanna go spelunking. Here I go. Uh Gohan, we're not spelunking. Just because we're looking for crystals and things doesn't mean we're spelunking. We're not even in a mine, Gohan. gonna be a little loud. Sorry guys. Sorry if that's a little loud. I think I can handle this. Look, a cave. Oh shut the fuck up. I'm gonna take you down. Of course you had to get me right as I found the Dragon Ball you penis sucking cock licking dildo fucking nut Jew where anus? 
gonna end that. Oh my god. Ew. Gohan's face. I actually won. You're surprised that I won? I like this game's hard. Even a even a shitty guy at fighting games can beat a game like this. And I'm an example of one. Launching launching her golden hair? What are you Wow. Hello? Thank you for your steel nuts. It's the only type of nuts you're ever going to get your mouth on there, Launch. No one wants your mouth near their nuts. I mean, to be fair, Tien... Oops. To be fair, I would, uh... If I were a character in the Dragon Ball universe, I would avoid Launch at all costs. No. That's her normal hair color. She's a blonde and blue hair. Just blonde and blue hair, you know this. Just because someone is blonde doesn't mean they're always Super Saiyan. Dude, I'm... Thank you. That's why I don't like it when freaking the PS4 implemented the share button. I keep wanting to hit select because I'm so used to it. Damn it, Sony. Next time you make a console, don't add a stupid feature that allows you to share or stream right from the console! No, not this way. It's really not the greatest thing, you know. No one gives a shit about streaming from PS4 or Xbox. That shit is garbage. I've done it once, it. and it is not good. The layout is shit. You need to buy a webcam microphone, a webcam and a specific microphone. If you have a Turtle Beach, you're good. If you don't, then you gotta buy something separate. If you need a webcam, you gotta buy that separately. Why? Yeah, you already gotta do that for OBS or streaming PC-wise, but it's a lot better quality is my problem, is the point. You can do a lot less and buy a lot less, or do a lot more and buy a lot less on OBS or streaming PC-wise than you can for console-wise. Why? 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 No! I'll take a rare item, thanks. I know you're joking, I just don't like the joke. Because that's what everyone says, and I'm tired of hearing it. I hear it from my friends all the time. It just gets old. I shall grant one wish, anything that is within my power. State your wish. You sound rushed. Cool. Sorry for what? It's not your fault. It's not your fault that I that there's some shitty ass Dragon Ball wishes. Not your fault that the Shenron gave me some shitty ass wishes.
Bulma, you're a little too early to be up here. Wow, this energy's incredible. You don't come up here until later. What are you doing? Why are you still in your Nam Namekian outfit, by the way? You're still in your Namek Saga outfit. What the fuck? Then again, so is Gohan. But he was in he's in this uniform for a while, to be fair. We ruled back. That sounds interesting. Um Excuse me. Yes. Uh Gohan, did you need something? Hi. I heard you removed my dad's tail a while back, which got me wondering, did you do the same to mine? No. No, I'm afraid I... I'm afraid to say I had nothing to do with that. Uh, it's not growing back. What's that, you think? Hey. Same physiology is perhaps best answered by a Saiyan. Vegeta doesn't have a tail anymore either, but I don't know what's going about going to see him. Uh, if done to the past, it would be prudent to, ex uh, to exercise caution, though I doubt there's any real need to see him at all. Right. This is important to me. I'll ask him. Understood. Why do you give a shit? No, Gohan, your your tail stopped growing because the creator just got lazy and didn't give a shit. Same with Goten and Trunks never having tails to begin with. He just forgot. He doesn't care. It's laziness. Half the stuff is all based off laziness, which is not I'm not mad about that nor do I care. It's just it's the truth. Old feline hermit carrying the staff states he is more than willing to let Goku drink the divine water. What he really means, though, is that Goku can drink it if he can get his hands on it. Corn proceeds to prevent Goku from drinking the water in any way he can. Another one? Journeys to Kami's lookout to revive Shenron, but he is unable to make it past Kami's attendant, Popo. Seeing Goku's determination to best Mr. Popo, Kami allows Goku to bypass that requirement and meet him. Shocked when he first lays eyes on Kami, he's the spitting engine of Demon King Piccolo. Of course he is. GG Brazil plus one like. Hello. Whatever that meant. Hello on YouTube. Woo! Okay. <laughs> oh, hello. Wow, this energy's incredible. <sighs> can you can you stop? You <laughs> Goku Black had a tail. It was called Goku before he became Goku Black. You know this. Goku Black had a tail. It was back when he was known as Goku. There's no reason to sit there and be asking these stupid questions, or even saying stuff like that. Why imagine Goku Black with a tail? What difference would it make? None. It would be the same as Goku having a tail. Remember, Goku Black is part is a god. He would not have a tail. I'm just trying to be this. I'm trying to just be honest with you. Goku Black is not Goku at all. He's a god. It's a moss. He would not have a tail. Therefore, what difference would it make if he did? It'd just be the same as Goku having a tail as an adult. You've already seen the extent of Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, and all them with tails. What difference would it make for Goku Black? Just throwing that out there. Don't be sorry. I just don't see the... I just don't see what difference Goku Black having a tail would make. <laughs> it's still the same as Goku having a tail. And he's a god. There's no reason for a god to have a tail. And what difference would it make? It's not like he would ever use it to his fullest potential. Oh, going to sense being brings it back to shape. Determined to confront Demon King Piccolo once more. No one gives a shit, Corrin. Alright. I don't mean to sound like I'm really down. I'm not. I'm really not. I just don't like dumb what-if scenarios, like, what if Goku Black had a tail? What if all these Dragon Ball YouTubers actually came up with something better to talk about? What happened if I got better at video games? What happened if my freaking 3DS can learn how to hold a charge? Oh, 
Alright. How about they focus on Dragon Ball Z games that are just like this and not shitty fighting game content? Huh? How about that? That'd be a better question. That'd be a far better question! What happened if Dragon Ball Z was actually, you know, had fun, had good games? This one is actually by this Attack of the Saiyans and 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 Fusions is the best Dragon Ball Z games that Dragon Ball Z has to offer. The rest are all kind of just like a two-year-old trying to learn how to color. Analogy, terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> Woo! Anything around here? Oh. Bora and his son Upa live in the sacred land of Korin, are tasked with its protection. One day, it happened to find a Dragon Ball, but they were attacked by the Red Ribbon Army, who are looking to make the Dragon Ball their own. Bora's in the middle of hope against evildoers, but the army took uh, Upa hostage. Goku is also looking for the Dragon Balls. Happens to drive on the scene to defeat Upa's attackers. K Yellow? You mean... Yeah, he defeated Yellow. Like, any one of the Red Ribbon Army is a match for Goku. They all, like, were pathetic. All of the Red Ribbon Army generals, commanders, all of them, they all fell. They're all pathetic. For anyone who is coming in and sounding, hearing me bitch and complain, I'm actually not mad. <laughs> it's just, I got a little upset because my, I can't, my volume mixer is not letting me split up the audios that I'm used to having split, and it changes every time. It was split up before, and then it switched up, then it was switched up again, and then it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's annoying. I'm not really mad at anyone or anything. I'm just not, it just doesn't sound like I'm happy, when in reality I'm fine. Just throwing that out there. Oi! A dick metal. Got it. I was gonna do Final Fantasy IV, but <laughs> then my then I lost progress in Pokemon, and I said, "Fuck it!" And then I've been asked to play this, so I'm here. I am. So how's everybody doing? Sorry, Jared. I don't mean to be scaring you off or upsetting you, man. I really am not. I'm actually taking your questions and things and to heart. I'm just... A lot of the questions you're asking is just things that I literally am... Dragon Ball just has a lot of heart to me. That's all. I go into these topics whenever people ask me things like this, and it's just I'm giving my all to my answers. It may sound like I'm pissed off, but I just feel like some of the stuff like this is kind of the, just the dumbest thing ever. Like, a med, uh, like a lot of people on YouTube are like, well, instead of instead of Goku this. Black, what about Goten Black? Or this, or that, or Goku, or Goku Black with a tail? Or it's like, what, what bearing is this gonna have? I probably shouldn't. What matter? What difference would it matter if Goku Goten Black was a thing? What m matter of difference would it make if he took over Goten's body? Nothing. He'd be weaker, in fact. I'm just stating a fact that, like, a lot of the people come up with these things on YouTube, too. It's just like, who cares? Who's stronger between which form of boo? Who cares? Does any of that matter? Because they're not, they're the same person. They're not going to fight each other. Does it matter who would win in a fight between certain characters? No, because they never fucking fight each other. It's a nice thing to think about, but it's not going to happen. Same with this quest. 
This is another quest that it's just like, why? Who cares how their tails disappeared? Canonically, they don't really give you an answer to that, besides the fact that Goku's tail just never grew back because Kami permanently removed it. As for the rest, Akira Toriyama just never decided to grow them back or write them back in. He also even gave us a statement as to why Goten and Trunks never had them, because he forgot. I mean, hell, Super Saiyan was born out of this necessity as well. Brah. Hmm. Hey. Huh? You've come at a good time. Fight me. What? And don't hold back unless you'd rather die. When did this happen? When did this happen? This didn't happen in the show or the manga. Yes! Take that! I think that was my first beam struggle win, actually. Could be wrong. I don't remember. I don't remember ever when I was doing that against Vegeta against Go with Goku. I would never saw that scene where he got blown back. It was always me that lost somehow, and I have like really fast button prompts. Oh, you want me to do it, do you? Yeah, he wants me to. Clever. You want to go? You know, I can easily finish you off right now. Yet, quit stalling. Touche. Oh, uh oh. The fuck. How could the Prince of Saiyan struggle against a child? Damn it! Um. What now? My tail's not growing back. <sighs> and? Well, yours isn't either. I was wondering if you knew the reason. Why the hell would I care about something like that? I have no interest in becoming grade 8, but taining a Super Saiyan hood is my priority now. <laughs> Any hurdle Kakarot can leap, so can I. Well, that's it. Maybe there's no need for a tail if you're stronger than a grade ape. No shit. I should report back to... Why does it even matter? So your tails were permanently removed eventually after a certain point. I think it just stops growing in once you become at a certain age. Goku could have kept his tail permanently if he didn't get it removed by the time he was already a teenager. I think I think it's just because Vegeta lost his tail as an adult that it stopped coming back in. As for Gohan's, probably just decided to just continue that and decide not to grow it back and draw it back in. It makes more sense with Goku and Vegeta being adults because they had their entire life with the tail. Gohan didn't really have that, but by the time Z came in and the tail started losing their significance and they started to go into more details about the Saiyan's history, the tails were less needed, so I can understand why Akira Toriyama removed them entirely. Gohan spoke at, the le at length with Oolong about all that happened and thoughts of his tails. Interesting. If getting stronger than a grade 8 means no tail, that's not it. Oh, it's, I woke up the next morning, I'm stronger than a grade 8. That's why my tail didn't grow back. Yeah, that's exactly why. 
That pulled a plug on any future monkey business for- huh? You seem happy. You got it! So sue me, I prefer Super Saiyan Goku over Rampaging Mindless Monkey. Additional strength, and you can control? Now that's what I call a win-win. <sighs> on account of zero risk of <clears throat> me getting mashed into a paste. Uh, did something happen in the past? Yeah. You know it. When your dad was a little kid, he went ape hard! Even so, I kind of miss those days. We had some great times. I want to go ape hard! He gets back, I'll ask Kami to give him back his tail. Then you two can relive the past all you want. Hey, Are you dead. crazy? <laughs> no way. That's amazing. Come on now. Well, I'm not laughing, am I? Hmm. I'm not sure who's more dangerous, Junior or his dad. Sheesh. Uh, okay. Well. Celebrity fan photo. That's actually a pretty hilarious quest. Not gonna lie. Still stupid! But I need stuff like this. There we go. Thank you. Goku and three other pages have been updated. What do you got for me? Very well. Dad must have... Later! Very well. Later! Huh? <laughs> oh, I do gotta bring this up, do I? Alright, let me... Ah. Yeah, sorry, Supply, or Jared, whatever you prefer to go by. I didn't mean not, because I'm not mad at all. This... My alerts are just pissing me off. And not just my alerts, but my entire thing about me not having, like, different sounds uh, organized in a certain regard. And I can tell you, no other different application that's going to allow me to stream, like, Streamlabs or OBS is going to make a dang difference. Because that's not really that fucking up. It's I can still stream perfectly fine. I just... People who are going to do things, I'm not going to be able to hear alerts very well because it's going to be in the game gonna be all combined with the game same thing with music if i were to play music right now it'd be combined and when i had the person on discord chat earlier i could barely hear them i'm not sure if i had them separated i'm not sure if it's because of their connection or whatever is bad but they kept going in and out and i don't as much i don't mind talking to people on discord but i can't be having that if the connection's not great and i just don't want i just nah it's just hard for me to really just chat with random people on a discord call because one, they don't usually have a setup to talk with me like so, like that, so it's they people could barely hear them, and or it's just noisy as hell, and it's very it was very distracting. Not that you were, because you're an awesome person. I appreciate the love you give me. It's just, I just, yeah, can't be put me on the spot like that on stream because then I'm just gonna. It's hard for me to get everything so set up right then and there, and then usually I get distracted, and I try not to. Sorry, I haven't really been in the mood for Dragon Ball lately. I'm really kind of not in the mood right now. I kind of just want to stop and play... Play Pokemon. Unfortunately, when I get into something, it's hard for me to want to move out of it. So right now, I'm just in an RPG Pokemon mood, which and which will change back to Final Fantasy eventually. But... I have to be in the mood, which is why I haven't been playing doing this or Kingdom Hearts lately, because I haven't been in the mood for them. I hope no one minds that I stream the same stuff day on and day out now, because that's just how I should have done it from the beginning. Which is why a lot of the games that I was doing on a different daily basis, it was hard for me to enjoy it, because I wasn't in the mood for a lot of them at the time. No! Dude! Go the fuck away, you slut, cunt, nut, butt, duty, duty, nudie, booty, footy, fluty, whatever the fuck I'm saying. Fuck 
but I promised that I would play this. I wanted to do Final Fantasy, but again, I'm not in the mood for that. Even though that's another RPG similar to Pokemon in turn base and all, it's just very, very different than Pokemon entirely, so it's hard for me to sit there and want to be in a mood for another turn based RPG. Wondering what that what destroy a falling stone grazy. You better see a doctor. What? Hey. Again? Fair, the Dragon Ball hunts weren't even that fun to find in this. A stone bridge. What? That? Are we talking about something else there, Gohan? Like, who cares about a stone bridge? Books again. Okay, she already got him. Oh no, she didn't. Study up and surprise your father with your genius when he gets back. Nah. Yeah, sure thing. Nah. Hurry back, Dad. We miss you. No, you don't. Roughly a year and a half had passed since the fight with the dreadful Frieza. But there was still no sign of Goku returning to Earth. The world had entered a period of peace. That peace, however, was to be short-lived. 
as a new threat was rapidly approaching the planet. Dragon Ball Z Frame Rate Edition. Ah, uh, there's the outfits we all know Whoa. everyone to be wearing. Everyone's here already. That poppin' though. Krillin, you felt it too, right? It's Frieza and someone else with enormous power like his. Yeah, kind of hard not to notice. There's no way we're gonna miss a massive energy reading like that. This can't be good. Do you really think it's Frieza? No. Well, sure seems like it. They'll know we're here if you don't quit your foolish babbling and lower your power levels. It's me. They have scouters after all. The Namekian's already lowered his. At least one of you is smart. That means you're not smart, Vegeta. Piccolo! Because you're one of them, aren't you not? They're here! They should have seen you immediately would flying right over your head. Sorry. They landed over there. It's Frieza. It's gotta be. I can't believe he's still alive. Now, hold on. I think there's someone else with him. Do not fly there. Got it? We can avoid scouter detection by simply walking up to them. You, you guys have actually fought against someone with this much power? You, you gotta be kidding me! What are we supposed to do once we get close to him? You'd rather stay back here and rot, is that it? Suit yourself. All of us know what we're up against. Just to be perfectly clear, Earth is completely done for. This... this can't be happening! I've unlocked. You cannot fly or fire key blast while moving. Goodbye, everyone. I can't just leave everyone here. Says who? Like there's nothing up ahead. Says who? No, oh, this isn't the way. <sighs> I came to get a peek at that Frieza guy. I never got a chance while we were on Namek. Bulma, please. Oh no! What are we going to do? I mean, you also mentioned you heard he was kind of cute. Like, who the hell would tell you that? So, this Frieza guy, he's really that tough, huh? You actually held your own against someone yep. that powerful? That key's unbelievable! Thank you. How in the world did Frieza survive? It's good, General. 100 sparks. Thank you for that. There we go! Ugh. Still could probably barely hear it because it's mixed in with the game's audio. <laughs> yeah, you could probably see why I had it. Uh, its base is at 5,000. I don't mind doing it. I'm still early. If you guys rather not it pop off that often, I can low I can hire it back up. But now it's going through. Thank God. Let me know if you'd rather that go back up to 5,000. But how you doing, General? I, per I like it too. I was just upset earlier that it wasn't actually going off. Now I have to figure out the audio splitting issue. Because you probably could barely hear it. In fact, I barely heard it. Because it's combined with the game's volume. Stopping by to support. Oh, I appreciate it. I told you I'd be playing this again. I just have been in the mood for a bunch of RPGs. Like, my next stream was supposed to have been Final Fantasy IV, but with Pokemon literally my game turning off on me because I forgot I didn't pay attention to its charge level, um, 
and it shut off on me, got me really upset. So I said, fuck Final Fantasy. I'm just going to take a break, work my way back up to Pokemon, and then jump right on this. Damn that Kakarot. Why didn't he finish that bastard off? That's a good question. But I'm glad that you're here to show me love nonetheless. Thank you, General. We're going up against him again. I will get all this audio issue figured out, but it'll... It'll just come and go. It'll eventually swap again. I don't know why, but it'll do it. But I'll eventually get all that figured out so where you can you can do a, you you can do all these alerts and actually hear them. I can actually hear them. I can have people on Discord chatting with me via like Zero or whoever just to actually play games with me. I'll be able to have music again in the background all split, but as of right now it's being a pain in the ass and nothing's ever working like I like it was before. First we'll move in. On foot, of course. But if you're busy and got something to do, I don't want to keep you, man. Man, the closer we get, the heavier the air seems to get. We're almost at his ship. Are you sure you're ready for this? Uh, yes! So this is Earth. Ooh, that voice. I've seen worse, hunks of rock. It seems this Super Saiyan Goku you keep going on about is set to arrive here in three hours. So you intend to wait for him, Fraser? Why, of course, Father. But I want him to suffer for what he did to me, so I think I'll slaughter every last one of his beloved Earthlings. I couldn't care less about the Earthlings, but we do absolutely need to rid ourselves of that Super Saiyan. By any means necessary. Hmm. And what brings you here, Earthling? Do love Frieza's new voice. To match I'm his, that he's now purely more or less cyborg now. Mm -mm, mm -mm, a mysterious mm -mm. savior from the future. What's that now? You're here to kill us, you say? Hm. Eliminate him. Sir! Awesome. Nope. Well, now. It supposed to do that when he puts the sword skill. away. Come at me with everything you've got. Unlike Goku, I won't take it easy on you. Goku? Oh, I see. So you're an ally of his. Never met the guy. Only know him by name. Oh, dear. You do realize that killing my men puts you in grave danger, do you not? Now I have to kill you myself. You miscalculated. A miscalculation? Oh, I beg to differ. Wiping you and the rest of the filth from this planet would be child's play. That's not what I meant. You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. And I'm not talking about Goku. There's another one right here! Prepare to die! The only one dying here is you. This is it, he said! Yeah, what? Yeah, it's all over me! That is seeking revenge, but unfortunately, awesome. You're not going to be able to carry it out. Eat my burning attack. That's not a threat. That's a fact. This is it. This is it. This is it. It's all what's wrong. Now's not the time to be holding anything back. This one. Oh, 
I'm just trying out moves, Frieza. never hit him down there. That was wrong. Shining Slash. Impossible. Okay. Completely cut out what he did. Probably gonna force me to do all that. That's him, isn't it? Keep your guard up. We don't know who we're up against. Right. I'm gonna head over there and wait for Goku. You're more than welcome to join me! What? I do like that it looks like I'm just in some black space. I always figure that whenever artists, and I just hear the song from an artist, it always it feels like that they're just sitting there, just floating in a void, just singing. Yes, I know it's a studio, and I know I'm in my room, but it's... I always get that idea that I'm just floating some random spot in, out of nowhere. Woo! I mean, yeah, I, I exist in nothing. I'm just sitting here in total blackness. How does he know about my dad? He's gonna show up right over there. If you're coming, then follow me. So, what do we do? Uh, I'm... I'm gonna follow him. Yeah, me too. I'm going to find out who this creep is. Do you got heat tap trunks? Nope. Okay. Seem like a bad guy. The, the, this ain't canon enough. This ain't this ain't correct enough. Trunks doesn't have heat tap. No clue who this guy. I think so too. Maybe. But he sees. True. If Goku actually does show up like this guy says, then we might get more answers. Damn him. He won't stop staring at me. He's starting to piss me off. Maybe it's because you're a bad man. Maybe my dad knows who he is. He had to have been a Super Saiyan. If Goku's as strong as this kid, then he's at a completely different level. If Goku's as strong as this kid, then he's at a complete... I don't understand that dialogue there. look like a bad dude, but I'd still keep up my guard. It, it'll be okay, Yamcha! How do you think he knows Goku is going to come here? Meh. Nah. Meh, nah, who knows? I know. Um... So, how do you know my dad? Well, I've only heard about him. I haven't had the privilege of actually meeting him yet. Oh! Uh... Really? So, hey, how do you know when Goku's coming back? Well, um... I'm afraid I can't tell you that, I'm sorry. 
So, can I ask, you were a Super Saiyan when you beat Frieza earlier, weren't you? How did you- Unfortunately, I can't tell you that either. Sorry. What's your name? Uh, that too. You can't even tell us your name? Well, what about your age? I'm 17. So you can tell us your age? But that's all I can tell you. I really am sorry. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You saved the Earth after all. It'll be another three hours before Goku gets here. So please, just hang tight a little bit longer. He should be here soon. know I was gonna be here them faces they make though this young man here clued us in who is he sorry there's not much you talking here you don't know who this is at all nope never seen him before that reminds me who took care of Frieza and the others that was some crazy energy we've got him to thank for that as well he made quick work of them by becoming a Super Saiyan. A Super Saiyan? Goku, I need to speak with you. In private, if you don't mind. With me? Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, what's the big deal? You gonna keep us in the dark? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just hang tight for a bit, okay? Goku Super Saiyan transformation is now available. I guess I'd better go talk to him. Someone should run ten times. Oh. Scissors, paper, rock, scissors. Oh, oh, I see. twice when I don't need that.
5% amount to recover for battle items. It's a garbage Dell hunting, it's a stunned enemy. said he could turn into a Super Saiyan as well. Just who is that guy? All right! This apple looks extra juicy. This looks like a great apple. Hey! You might say you're even quite absorbent. How many times do I got to see those messages, King Kai? What's this? Some ruins over there. <laughs> we got a keeper. All right, this apple looks extra juicy. This Six star like great apple falls to where the last one is located. Above that, so as well as shingle car. It cars peel out gig. Said use Goku's weakness to his tail to steal the Dragon Ball. Goku's already moved and removed. Actually, more like it was ripped off. It wasn't removed like that. It was ripped off of him. In that fight with Gohan and Goku, when he fought his grandfather, he freaking ripped it off! I wouldn't say he had it removed necessarily, because he had it then. It's not like he went out of his way and he's like, hey, cut my tail off. That makes it out to seem like Goku had it removed upon his own desire, when Goku didn't. It was ripped off. This looks like a great apple. Found some tasty looking food. All right! This apple looks extra juicy. <laughs> we got a keeper. Goku, please. up here searching for something. Hmm. Weird, I thought it was up here. I guess whatever I was following misled me? to deal with this now they don't even look like wow different enemies they don't even look like cybermen or robots yeah they're not they're... okay since frieza was on earth now that we got frieza force on earth that's cool finally now just give me all three give me the robots cybermen and these guys yeah they're occasionally still here but in different parts Give me all of them on one map, damn you. Thank you. 
Return of the Red Ribbon Army updated. We got a key. I see you. <laughs> Look at this prime cut of meat. It's Amazon Prime Day for Goku. Dinosaur. Whoa! This thing looks pretty rare. Yeah. Is it? I mean, I killed it or knocked it out. Because I haven't Whoa. seen that specific one before. Get a load of this lake. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I'm pumped up and ready to go. Yeah. Dude. Fucking drones, go away. What are you doing attacking me? Helping me fight Frieza, or helping the Frieza soldiers. snails found some tasty looking food Stop hitting me constantly and let me actually hit you. Guys! Thank you. No, you should train some more. This 
apple looks extra juicy. This looks like a great apple. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Trouble lady. Best to deal with this now. Okay. Let's see what he has to say. I need to know something. Are you able to become a Super Saiyan at will? Eh. Uh, at first it wasn't easy. I just needed a toilet. Now I can do it on command. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't at first. But I can control it pretty good now. That's great. Now I have to ask. Would you mind transforming for me now? Uh, if you so desire me to. You got it. Hey, -oh. hey, whatever. How you doing? I'm doing well, man. How about yourself? Now, I'll become a Super Saiyan 2. Oh, the legendary Super Saiyan 2. Whoa. Shit, I'm not even there yet. And I'd like you to fight me. And I won't go easy. Can I use one finger, please? Fine by me. Oh good, I get to hear Strunk say, what? Oh no, what? Oh no, what? Oh no. Personal stress, mental state, not the best. Haven't gotten power. I'm sorry. Yeah, I haven't been all that myself lately. Spirit bomb, you suck. You're incredible, Goku. Hey, you're no slot yourself. I can see how you defeated Frieza so easily. Too slow. Gotta go fast. Just want to support everyone in Vs for now. Hey man, I appreciate your love. Thank you so much. Don't go out of your way to do anything that is too much for you. Just rest and feel better. But as long as we all know you have we, you, that you have our backs, that's all that matters, dude. Don't go out of your way and support everyone to forget about your own self, man. Your own well-being is the best support that we all can have. Amazing. And that goes for all of the people who support me by themselves as is. I mean, you're all part of my family as well, man. Anyone who's part of my stream, whoever is following me, f subscribing to me, f just or just a regular fan, or even a regular, all of you guys, mod, whatnot, if you're in my channel, you're all part of the Hunter's Guild, which is my family. So, I appreciate it. Same for you, whatever. I will always be part of your verse family. Same with you, being part of this family. But also take care of yourself. If you're not feeling well, or 
if you have some stress or any of that nature, I appreciate all the love that anyone gives. But just make sure that you have the love and support behind you as well, because trust me, I know how I know how being upset is. I know how being down is. I know how it is to have stress. Trust me, I'm going through some right now with my current job, and there's issues that I haven't even gotten to talk to my own family about yet because I don't know the whole details at work. And it's just, I'm worried if I'm going to lose my job. Whether it's going to be, it's going to be temporary, they said, but I'm still just like, I'm stressing about it because I don't know if this is going to cost me a lot for my insurances, my car and my dental insurances and stuff. And like me still living with my parents and all. And I just, it's hard for me to want to go tell them the whole details because I don't even know the whole details of what's going to happen, which is why I haven't said anything to anyone, even you guys yet. And I'm saying this now only because... I am down and stressed, and if you're wondering why in any regard, it's because of this. I'm just trying to not tell anybody anything yet because I don't want to give anyone any concrete feelings on like, oh, be careful, or hey, I wish you the best. Because for all I know, it might not happen to me, but Sears has thrown... Sears, we are slow. So we had to basically toss out a lot of temps. Now they're starting to lay off actual hirees temporarily and it's been on the back of my mind for a while now and I'm trying not to really go on about it I mean, same simula- sim- yeah, same simula- uh, situation at work wise and my partner and I just really I'm sorry to hear that man relationship wise is tough uh, me and my ex have been split off for many years and I haven't dated since since them because like one I don't want to really get into another relationship yet where I can easily just get heartbroken further but also because I wanted to give my time to get over some of these people and I know how you feel and on top of that earlier this morning earlier when I was streaming my I didn't realize that my 3DS the one that actually cannot hold a damn charge my only capture device 3DS it decided to die on me and I lost probably about a good stream's worth of progress which was like about two three hours worth of progress which not a lot yes but for a pokemon game and everything it's a pain in the ass and it kind of stressed me out and i'm sitting here trying to figure out my different like audio mixing because i usually have game on one audio a friend on another audio or background music on another audio or my alerts on another audio this keeps changing on me and it keeps pissing me off because i'm not very tech savvy and yes we will always stand strong and have each other's back I I always have your back, you always have mine, regardless of what what stream, what family, what initial thing we are part of. We're all we're all family. Whether or not I am part of your group, you're part of my group, you're a part of my group who also is has a friend who's part of someone else's group or whatnot or you're you know, we're always together. Even if some of your friends are cool with my stream but don't actually watch another member of my friend's streams or, you know, vice versa. I could be watching someone's stream. They could be cool with a said person, but I don't really watch their stream. I could. We are all connected regardless. I thank you guys. For anyone who's part of my family, your family, their own family, welcome. No. Okay. I'll tell you everything. But please... It's important that you make sure not to tell anyone else what I'm about to tell you. But anyone who's anyone who's been here long enough to know that I've talked about my stuff and personal life with them, I will tell everyone the truth about work shortly as after I know what's happening. And that's maybe a bit of why I've been down, but not to the point where it's, I hope it's really showing, but people have asked me, is this, why are you upset? Or it's like, no, I'm not. I'm really not upset. It's just... Today was just a bad day for me because I was trying to stream earlier and I and then my game decided to shut off and then like my audio sources they're all like split. So if I if I want you if you were to go and make something that has an alert that pops up such as following me, it's going to be with the game audio. So I can barely hear it, you're barely going to hear it and that annoys me and it's and it never used to do this to me. Ever since I moved downstairs to take care of my dog for a week, my sources have been fucking up left and right mad and it's just i get it fixed one day 
my computer needs a restart or something happens and welcome in for me. Yes, oof indeed. And then it, it fucks up again. And then it's just like, I'm doing the same things I've always done, even with voice meter banana. And it's just like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> like earlier when I was playing Pokemon, I had someone on Discord I was talking to and I finally got my game and their, their voice to be split up into different sources. It was fine, however, their voice, and I don't know if they just have no mic or not, but they speak very low, and they're a kid. They're a young kid. And so their voice is going to be, without a mic, it's not going to be very hearable. Welcome in for me. Gotcha. Ugh, you probably, probably came in at a weird time talking about some depressing things. Uh, I'm I'm just going through a lot with work, and I'm really trying to wait before I start telling everyone the details because I don't even know what's happening. But if anyone's seen that I've been down somewhat, it's I'm not really upset. It's just there's a lot on my mind, and it's been happening since Friday. But hey, but hey, how you doing? It might be difficult to believe what I'm about to say, but... I will be. Don't worry. And don't worry, Infamy, and anyone else who are big parts of my channel. You guys will all know in due time. I've come here from 20 years into the future. It's just work. Work is just a little slow. Machine. And they're, they're talking about letting a bunch of people go. And I'm just worried that... Yes, it's not permanent. I'm just worried that I'm going to be one of them and I'm going to be out of work for a while. The, the future? 20 years from now? My name is Trunks. I'm Vegeta's son. What? Vegeta's, Vegeta's son? son? Actually, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. I'm going to be born two and a half years from now. Wasn't it Goku that just stated in that fight that he looks like him? But that's not why I came here. There's something much more important I need to tell you. Anyway, so please listen. How is everyone's weekend? How did how did everyone enjoy their weekend? My God, this Sunday. Ugh. What happened to this Sunday? It went by quick. No, no, I want more. Anyway, how's everyone's weekend been? My weekend was good. It was actually very good. I got to sleep in. Considering three or four days last week, I was up till like 2, 3 a.m. And I was streaming till like 1 in the morning. And then I, for some reason, I was just not sleeping very well. I finally got some good sleep this past weekend. So, huh? oh, right. Despite waking up at like my normal work time, like 5.45 in the morning... And on and off and not having work, so my body's just, like, tired as hell. So, I mean, I, I'm kind of am tired right now, but it's only because that I've been up. And my body's just not used to doing nothing, so that's why I get tired throughout the day on the weekends. So if you're ever wondering, like, why I stream, stop, and then come back several hours later, it's because I either was eating, relaxing, or sleeping. Three years from now. And May 12th, May 12th around 10 a.m. At around 10 a.m. On an island southeast of South City. Two incredibly powerful figures will appear on an island. Nine miles. Nine miles. From South City. Thank you. The anime stated nine miles. I haven't read the manga in a while, so don't quote me on anything pure factual. If it was five, I, I'm wrong. But everything else so far was correct on what I just said. Who are they? Are they aliens? No. They're man made machines right here on Earth. Created right here on Earth. You're wrong. One is an android. One is a cyborg. Sorry, I'm playing with my mic's uh, spring. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I apologize. It kind of reminds me of a, an instrument. So I'm kind of having fun with that. They were created by a mad scientist from the former Red Ribbon Army named Dr. Giroux. If you don't know, I have an issue with playing with things. It's no different than me still chewing on pens and gum longer than they need to be chewed on and playing with my hair and K 
occasionally my necklace, which is a dog tag. It's because I have that nervous thing where I need to do that, otherwise my mind will go insane. That's my anxiety. That's stress for you. If I, anyone who has anxiety and stress knows what I'm talking about. Because I pick my lip, too, all the time. Like, you'll see this every now and then. I've been looking for a Naruto game to buy for the PS3. It's between Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 and Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution. Only the PS3? You don't have the next-gen game, uh, next-gen consoles? The only reason why I ask is because all of those Naruto games are on the PS4. But if not... I don't know really the biggest differences. I've only beaten all the way through the first three of them. And somewhat, I think, of number four. Whichever one goes up to Kabuto at in the Tailed Beasts. Oh, you only have a PS3. No, I was just asking. I was just asking because, like, they're all on the PS4. But, I mean, it's not like they're all they're all on PS3, too. It's just a lot of them are separated. Um, I would just play them in order. If you've already beaten the first few, I would get the next one in line. And if you don't care, since you already know the story, then I would get the latest one. But... Even then, I don't really know. Um, Ultimate Ninja Storm and Ultimate Ninja... See, I don't know if Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution is like an upgraded version of that, or if it continues past that. Because there was one that I bought that basically later on, they eventually sold a minor, like, separate, like, disc for a, one or two more fights that later became, like, a, an expansion or a small DLC, which later they made another game with that into it. So I don't know if... I don't like when they did that with Naruto. They started making multiple games and then they would release, oh, here's this additional content uh, that's like a small disc that only has a little bit on it. And then later on, you could just buy the whole thing. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if those two are like the same thing and, re and one of them is like all of them in one or if there's like, here's this content goes up to this, and then here's this content that goes up a little bit further than that, but it's all one disc instead of separate. I don't know if the PS3 versions had that, or if that was just the later gens. Because I have... Here. Because um, they're all worthwhile having. I just don't remember which one's off the top of my head or what. Because I have the Storm Trilogy... Road, bleh, Road to Boruto, which is Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. And then there's Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 by itself. Like, there's Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, then there's the one with the Road to Boruto. An example of what I mean. This is Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 by itself. Here's Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 Road to Boruto. So I don't know if the PS3 has anything like that. Which I'm assuming it does. But this is why I also asked if you had a PS4. Because they're all in one thing. But if not, um, you've been looking for an article to buy for a while. It's between Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 and Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution. See, I don't remember too much of Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution. I'm assuming... <sighs> Let me guess. Wait, wait. Ultimate... They did make one Ultimate Ninja Storm that had to basically had all the kids in it. The kids form of Naruto. It was basically... Is, I think... Let me look it up. Because I know they made one of these games, but it was basically... Oh, uh, here's the same game again, but it's Naruto fight... It's Naruto's kids versus Naruto adults. And it was just kind of stupid to me the way they did it. I don't know if that was Ninja no, Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution, or if that was a different game entirely.
The first three original animated stories created at Shinobi Akatsuki reveals the or origins. Blah, 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 blah. Known as Japan's Ultimate Storm Revolution. The game features a revamped fighting system, includes new ways of forming teams based on. Blah, 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 blah. It doesn't really tell me exactly. But yes, I remember this disc or case. I remember the casing entirely. I think it could be the one I'm referencing. Maybe not. Maybe that was a different one. Actually, I think this one just. I think this one goes all the way up to Madara or uh, Obito, where you face him with the tailed beasts. And then they made one late. Then they made another game later where it was like, oh, you want to face Kabuto with a, with uh, with Sasuke and Itachi? Here's a separate DLC for that. And then they just made that and that game all into one thing. After that, it's kind of like Road to Boruto here, and then Ultimate Ninja Storm Four. Basically, you could have bought Ultimate Ninja Storm Four and Road to Boruto separately, and now they made it into one thing. So I think I did that at one point. Yeah. <laughs> See, <laughs> I bought this. And then this came out, and then Road to Boruto came out. <laughs> so now you can buy Road to Boruto and that all in one thing. So I'm assuming your games are no different. But if I'm going to be honest with you, try to find, try to find and see if there's a connection between Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 and Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution. If there's no connection, if those games are two different games, I would play whichever one was first and then move on to that one. So I'm sure you already know the story of Naruto, which is why you're playing these games. But if you're trying to also, if you're also trying to go in a, se a sequential order, trying to, you know, reconnect with the story. Because when I played these games again, I was going through an order as a story thing. So if you're trying to redo it as an order, as a story thing, try to figure out which came first and then play that in a sequential order. And then once you beat that, move to the next one. Because I don't want you to be like, oh shit, I need to buy this game. If I don't have this game... Yeah, if you're trying to reconnect with those stories, I suggest try to find which one plays out in order. And then that way, so, you know, in case you have, in case you got to buy it, I don't want you to be like, oh, I'm going to buy this game and then find out it's like two games later. Okay, Storm 3 came out before Revolution. Okay, then I would play that first and then see what Revolution has to offer. Because for all we know, judging by the name, it may not connect whatsoever in terms of like, oh, this goes from this Naruto Revolution 3 ended at this point. This game connects from that onward to the end of the series revolution could just be like here's this this and this and this here's a bunch of favorite fights or whatever i don't even remember anyway it's been a while since i played half of these games i've only played up to the first three games totally i've beat i've played a bit of number four but not enough like to understand where it continues and where it goes i've again i think the third one was all the way up to obito where you battle the tails and then obito ten tails or something like that after that, I don't remember exactly what I did at all. That's right. So yeah. Same one you took down many if you were, years ago. If you were like me and wanted to play for like just reconnecting with the story, then yeah, I suggest try to figure out what goes in order. Then that'll help you decide whether or not it's worth your money if you have it already. If and then fine. If not, then yeah. Oh yeah. When I was just a little guy. Storm's a very good franchise. I'm on eBay looking around. Nice. I thought I got rid of those guys a while ago. Because if anyone who's never... Because if no one's ever played this game, Dragon Ball Kakarot feels a lot like Ultimate Ninja Storm. It's battle? No. It's battle system? No. <clears throat> but it's kind of semi-open-worldedness and it's, and it's cartoony, like, uh, manga graphic style? Yes. It's mission-based system, kind of. Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm doesn't really, like, doesn't really have that many missions. I mean, it does. It has missions where you can be like, oh, here's this. Go this. Go get this for Kakashi. Go get this for Sakura. But it's not really like that. This is more RPG. Naruto is more still a fighting game. If you want to play a Naruto game with some missions, I suggest the Xbox 360 Rise of a Ninja and the Naruto Broken Bond games. Which is basically the same thing as Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. Just, it's two games instead of one. Because Rise of a Ninja basically has you going around the entire Leaf Village in the first game. You do a bunch of missions. Like, and it's it's cool. Like, there's ramen delivery missions. There, <laughs> there's missions that you just basically help out somebody on the street or whatever. And then you eventually just pick a mission to go fight. It's not an open-worlded game. Kind of like how Ultimate Ninja Storm is. 
it's kind of like, here's this mission, I'm outside the city. Uh, and then in number two for Broken Bond, that's when you actually start exiting around the actual villages because then you're going around with other characters. Like there's times where you got to be Sasuke to use Sharingan to sniff out traps and things. Even Byakugan, you even use Neji and he, uh, with the Byakugan to do the same thing. They're, it's cool. I like how what two did. Uh, and then they started coming out with Ultimate Ninja Storm, which is basically the same series just combined into one, but more open-worlded. Specif uh, specifically number two onward, where you can actually leave the village. Unfortunately, Dr. Giro survived and continued his research. But yeah, they're... Naruto and this are kind of similar in some regard. I've seen this game referenced as Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. It's battles, kind of not so much, but maybe if you get to some like actual boss fights, they have some type of like command prompts for you to use, kind of like with Ultimate Ninja Storm, but not quite the same though. So what's he after? World domination or something else crazy? Because that was the thing about an Ultimate Ninja Storm I loved. But it's possible that was his end goal. Like when you're facing Gara in his possum form, you would sit there and get up to him, hit a certain button command to run up his arms or whatever, and then you would hit the dude in the face, and then you would get up to Gara, who's sitting there possumed out, and then you would knock him around a bit to wake him up. Like, I fucking loved it. And that's not for every major boss, though. Like, that's only for, like, every major, like, villain boss. Like, you get to pain. When you fight pain, it's the same thing. But when you face other bosses and fights, it's a normal fighting fighting game. That's what I loved about it. They mixtured between fighting and stupid QTEs, which in these kind of games, QTEs have not been bad. I'm not the I don't hate QTEs as I don't deal with them a lot. But in a lot of the times, there are just bad QTEs. These games have had some pretty good QTEs. But his androids were designed to be killing machines. And they have meaning. The androids were free to kill and destroy to their heart's content. It's been just <coughs> me against the two of them. I struggled to make it make out it alive. alive. Wait. Uh, what happened to everybody else? Died. They're gone. 20 years from now, I'm the only fighter left. And then Goku Black comes in many years in later. Fight, Three years from now, my father over there, Krillin, Piccolo, everyone is killed. Yamcha, Tien, Chaozu, Yajirobe. managed to make it out alive. He taught me how to fight four years before I came here in the time machine. The only ones that I know that survived in Trunks' movie was Trunks, Bulma, Master Roshi, Oolong, and Poir. As you know, with Piccolo gone... The Dragon Balls could no longer be used. Meaning we couldn't bring anyone back once they were killed. The androids' unquenchable lust for bloodshed eventually turned the world into a nightmarish hellscape. Come to think of it, Trunks. You... After Goku Black's defeat, you and Mai were wished to a different alternate timeline where you still exists. So there's two of you. Then at the end of the turn on a power arc, they were wished for every universe to be revived. Universe 10 is brought back into its final glory. I'm assuming that means everyone in it. I'm going to say assume that all the villains maybe not so much, but Trunks' actual planet and timeline has been revived. Does that mean Trunks... From that timeline was revived too? Or a different Trunks from Universe 10? Or... And then this Trunks is living off in a different universe somewhere? Because that technical universe was also destroyed at the end of the Terminal of Power. So that means Trunks died either way. And was brought back. They're too strong. Nothing can take them down. I think too much, but this is actually stuff that actually happened. At the end of the term of power, they destroyed every universe but seven. That means Trunks did die and was brought back. And his current timeline that he came from, Universe 10, where Goku Black and all the androids came from in that future world where Future Cell was, 
That was universe 10. That was brought back. That means Trunks and Mai from that universe should be brought back. But if they don't live there no more, then I'm very... I, I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking too much. Hey, wait. Hold up a sec. What about me? They didn't kill me too, did they? Another good question is, that would also bring... Wouldn't that also bring back Goku that Goku Black killed? The very same character that Goku Black literally took the body of when he made that wish? Because technically, he would have been brought back as well. Whatever universe Goku that was. Actually, that was Universe 10's Goku. Or wait, no. Universe 10 Goku's died of the heart virus. Even you couldn't join in the fight. I don't even know anymore. Not too long from now. Trunks' Goku we'll was killed. To a severe heart virus. Because Trunks... Because... Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Because Trunks' timeline Goku Black is the one that has Goku's body. Or Trunks' timeline Zamas is Goku Black. He may have came from the past, uh, but it's... Uh. What? Multiverse. Dragon Ball Z is just nothing but a giant multiverse. I mean, it's that's been like that ever since this arc. They don't really detail it and go into de uh, explanations very well, but it's... And no one who first watched Dragon Ball Z at the time didn't really ever think about it, but Dragon Ball Z has been known as a multiverse since this arc happened for the first time. Why? Because there's several cells. There's three cells. There's future cell from his timeline that comes into the past. There's present day cell, which is in the laboratory that Piccolo and Gohan or Piccolo and Krillin destroy. Then there's the cell that Trunks goes back and kills. Because Trunks goes back to a different time to go kill the androids and sell off. <laughs> so is this future Trunks the same future Trunks that came back in Super? Can't be. It doesn't make any sense as to why would they be the same person. It would not make any sense. Because Trunks already... Because Trunks' whole reason for coming to the future to begin with was to not only give Goku his heart virus, but to let everyone know, hey, I defeated the androids in my timeline. Because if you go and watch uh, the end of uh, the android movie, or the movie where he does that, he goes. that's when he goes back at the end of his movie. And that's when he goes back to go tell everybody, hey, I defeated the androids, and here's Goku's heart virus. Blah. And then eventually after that, he goes back... He goes back to his timeline to defeat the androids and Cell who plagued his universe. Therefore, he's going to a different timeline. Because the timeline Cell came from and the timeline that they came from are totally different timelines. There's three Cells totaling in the world. I'm not explaining now it very well. Pickle. I'm guessing Sensu beans won't work, huh? Man, this sucks on so many levels. I can't believe I'm going to die in such a lame way. I really wanted to fight those guys. Because remember, the cell that came back to the present day that killed that Trunks off is a different cell because this Trunks is still alive. You're disappointed you can't fight them? Aren't you scared? Well, yeah, I'm scared. But you said they're crazy strong, right? Of course I want to fight them. Because then Cell would have had no reason to tr teleport or to go back to the past to begin with. The reason why Cell went back is because Trunks destroyed the androids. Which Trunks should have been able to destroy Cell because Cell is about as on par with 17, if not weaker than that, without all the human beings he absorbed. Ugh. I see. You really are a true Saiyan warrior, aren't you? Here, when you start to see symptoms, take this. And Trunks also opened up another timeline the moment he trans or I was gonna say transformed, teleported to the past, or you know, came back to the past. He already made a new timeline entirely. It's a medicine developed twenty years from now. It should keep you alive. Whoa, really? Awesome! Thanks. Normally, history shouldn't be changed. 
But I've got to do whatever I can to prevent those atrocities from coming to pass. My mother always spoke very well of you. She knew you'd help us. That's what pushed her to complete the time machine. When it when Bulma from Super, which was many years later, is finally now getting around to making a time machine. Go figure, am I right? So that must mean the trunks is Bulma or Drunks' is mother from the future is not only older, but that must mean they already went through some of these super events. They would have No, because that's not the case, because then Goku Black would have already have happened. Wait, your mother? She knows who I am? I get it, they're from the future, but I feel like the technology advancement from the past is far more, far more, uh, advanced. Yes, she knows you well. Because they're basically in the same time state, just set year in the future. And Bulma already has the same ideas and knows how to make a time machine, but it took Bulma from the past many years later to do the same things. Wait, you said she built a time machine. Isn't that right? And the only person I know who can do that is... Your mom. No way! Your mom isn't... Yes. Chi-Chi. She's right over there. Whoa! Stop trying to look hot, Bulma. Bulma? Out of all the stuff you just told me... It's gotta be the craziest. I thought she'd stick with Yamcha. <laughs> I love that voice. I, I thought she'd stick with <laughs> Yamcha. Well, if Yamcha wasn't such a loser and a player, maybe she would have. To, to think she'd end up with Vegeta of all people. I mean, it just makes no sense. Mm. Please, make sure not to tell anyone. I can't have people knowing who I really am. If you do, well... I, uh, might never be born. be born. Just make sure you don't tell anybody in three years, Goku. Oh, yeah, right. Mum's the word. I never heard that saying. Does anyone actually use that? Mum's the word. Well, I'd better get going back to my own time. I need to let my mother know how everything went here. Hey, are we gonna see you again? Eh. <sighs> uh. Ebay is an amazing place, though. That's where I was able to get some of my Pokemon games. Hopefully they're in good condition. Because a lot of the Pokemon games I got off eBay, while cheaper than Amazon in most cases, they usually don't come working. So I need to get some of the new... The time machine requires so a, a lot of energy, so it'll take some time. Full burst. You're right, it does. You're right. Full burst. Forgot all about that. Let me look that up. I forgot all about Full Burst. I think that was, like, one of the few that I never had. I had some games. Full Burst. That might be the one that I was talking about with, uh... It looked... Because I see pictures of Kabuto in snake form. That might have been the one that they're, like... That I found at GameStop. That are like, oh, here's your game... Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. Well, here's this extra content. Do you want to face Orochi? You want to face uh, Kabuto with Sasuke and Itachi? I think that's what that was. Then they decided to release the game, you know, all in one thing instead of having like an additional DLC or whatever. I think that's what that is. Because instead of buying both of them, I just decided to say fuck it. I beaten three, and then I later just bought them all on the PS4. Because I think. They also did that with, uh, they definitely did that with Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations. That's what it was. Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations. That's the one that they basically released in, in an interim where it has Naruto Shippuden characters and Naruto characters. So it's like, oh, you want to battle your favorite characters with your favorite characters in their kid forms? Here you go. So they definitely released a lot of dumb interim video games in the meantime because i think what they're trying to do is either wait for the manga to continue wait for the anime to continue or maybe just money or either wait for that and money if i can survive until then I'll i get it they're big they're big they're good they're very good games three years from now 
I could see why they did what they did with marketing off how many they marketed. Because they're very, very good games. Stay alive. Uh, I love that it's like an action AR. I love that it's like an action RPG with fighting combat. It's again, it's kind of like this. Just its combat is a bit different. What a great new goal! It has now ARPG and action elements where you're searching around for things. Years. There might be. There might be areas that you explore. There might be stuff that you break. There's little ons There's like little missions that you do, and then there's your 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 typical. Oh, uh, this ninja's this ninja's being an asshole. Go fight him. Or hey, you're at the story. Go face uh, Sasuke. Or go face uh, Gara. Or go face one of the Yakatsuki. Or whatever it is that you're doing in that game. You know what I mean? That's I love I love that about the Ultimate Ninja Storm series. And then you get to the main villain of the uh, an arc, say Pain. Then you got to beat him up. And then you got a bunch of, like, QTE sequences that I really loved in those games. The QTE sequences are phenomenal. Trunks! You can try and get full burst now. Alright, man. Cool. Hope you all enjoy your Naruto games. Yeah, they gotta be all cheap by this point. You can probably get a bunch of these for e for cheap by this point. I remember when I saw them at stores, I'm like, nah. Well, now I just gotta figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. I will be playing through the whole Naruto Storm franchise in the future. There's a lot of stuff that I want to get through. Hey, hey, Goku! We just saw that guy take off. Where did he go? Unfortunately, when I'm like in the when I'm like really enjoying a game too, it's hard for me to want to play other things, which is why I've been doing a lot of Pokemon and Final Fantasy and even this at the time. I'm trying to play a bunch of what I am getting into at the moment and then get through them. Otherwise, I'm just not having fun with another game. So it's hard for me. So if there's a ever times I'm playing a game and I'm not really enjoying it, it's probably because I'm enjoying a, another game that I'm already playing. It's That's just how I get. So, like, when I was getting to the Final Fantasy mood, that's why I was playing nonstop Final Fantasy and Fantasy Star back-to-back -back because I was in the mood for those kind of games. Now I kind of get I'm getting out of it, and I'm getting into Pokemon, and I'm wanting to play that for a bit now. And then eventually I'm going to get out of that and want to play something else. So excuse me if I ever do that in the midst of a series you guys enjoy. I can't help it. It's just how I am as a gamer personally myself. And unfortunately, you're getting me for me for what it is. You're so like, there's going to be times where I want to play something, and there's going to be times where I don't want to play it. And unfortunately, I don't want to force that either. As much as I want to make these streams more or less about your guys' enjoyment, but it also has to be part of my enjoyment as I'm the one who's doing the streaming. So, like, if I'm not enjoying it, it's going to bring down the entire stream as well. But I want to try to get content out that I know you guys would also like. I'm not big and huge enough to the point where it's like, oh, this stream is not getting enough views. I'm sorry, I have to edit this or cut this and not do it anymore. I really don't want to get to that point, even when I'm big. I don't want to get to the point where it's like, okay, I'm playing a game, I love it, but it's not getting a lot of views and love. I'm not making money off of it. Unfortunately, i got to cut it. I don't know if I'm ever going to get to that point. I don't want to be like that. I want to be able to play whatever the hell I want for your guys' enjoyment, and if you guys enjoy it or not. I don't want to be to the point where you guys essentially dictate how a game series is going to go based on its amount of views because not everyone's going to like everyone's content. I can sit there and play Black Ops Call of Duty, not love the game, and it probably receive well just because everyone loves COD. Or, you know, I could play a game that everyone loves, me personally hate it, and it get a lot of views. Oh, uh, personally, uh, yeah, I just yeah, want to be happy, uh, and I, I want you guys to be happy. I don't want to play a game essentially because it's overly popular. If that's the case, I can easily play Fortnite so now. Just who is this guy? But no one would enjoy that. For one, I'm bad at those kind of games. Two, I'm not really into the PvP scene either. So that'd be no different than me just putting on a game and me just running around with my head cut off blind. Uh, he, um, he, uh, well, he's... <laughs> hey, isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? Hmm? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? You mean you heard? My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. Apparently. Relax, all right. 
I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. Apparently, your le your hearing is leagues better. I mean, you heard King Kai speaking to fucking what was it, Goku and King Kai's conversation or whatever, and you freaking went to the planet where Broly was in the very first Broly movie. I mean, you heard that entire fucking conversation. It's like, okay. We're not going in unprepared. If we die, it won't be for lack of skill. Sure about that? Wait, die? What are you saying? Mm -mm, mm -mm, On the mm -mm. hunt for the androids. Piccolo explained the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunks' identity. Why wouldn't it be Trunks' identity? The others could do little to hide their shock at this what is why I'm bad at say. This is why I'm bad at the punctuation and sentence structure, because that just didn't sound right. About the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids. Because I thought apostrophe S was ownership and S apostrophe was ownership of more than one. Eh. Yeah. Androids, huh? Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot. The game. Spill it. How did you get off planet Namek alive? Right. We've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. Yeah. For a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship. Is Saga still going to be the only game that actually has you fighting a yard rat? That's right. The Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. They were heading to planet Yardrat, yes. That's why Goku went there at the end of that, because, one, the ship was programmed to go to Yardrat. You don't know this because, well, mo many people probably don't know this is because it, it's explained in the manga, actually. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. There you go. Also explained here. I mean, they don't really explain it very well. I think in the anime, Vegeta does mention that they were sent to go off to planet Yardrat to destroy it. Maybe not. I don't remember too much. But in the manga, for a fact, it's stated. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. There you go. And then this game explains it. There you go. And they attacked it before. I'm surprised it's not destroyed then. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? Yep. They were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. Yeah, just go watch Super. The guy Jimenez or Jimenez or whatever his name was. The one that was part of freaking uh, Universe 2's Sailor Moon universe. The, 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 the pretty girls who all just dance around and transform into fat, ugly women. Not really only one of them is a fat, ugly woman who's actually quite beautiful when she's not fat and ugly. Anyway, he's a yard rat who dresses just like that. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? And you guys don't have strange powers? I mean, they know how to freaking insta-teleport, and yet you guys flying, shooting key blasts, being able to energy, gr and turn Super Saiyans is not weird to you guys? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called Instant Transmission. Huh? Instant, instant transmission? transmission? Yep, Instant Transmission. The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. Hmm. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? Not really, actually. Because are you expecting to go to these places you've never been to, Goku? Of a that's what yeah, exactly that's not a much of a downside if you ask me because imagine if you're going to teleport to some place you don't know what happens if you can't get back if you can only teleport to some place that you know of somebody there what happens if you're stuck there 
It's kind of not a downside. It actually prevents you from getting lost, if anything. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> I mean, not only that, Goku was able to go all the way from this, or go all the way from King Kai's planet to New Namek at the time to get the Dragon Balls and Dende. Or to get Dende later on in this arc, our series. And then he eventually uses that just, just to help people during the Boo arc and other things. Like, even the Supreme Kai used it to get everyone who was left alive during Boo's planet Earth destruction off. Like, it's a very useful skill. Yet, Goku's is limited. He's not like the Supreme Kai where he could just willy-nilly do it everywhere. But, regardless of that downside, it's really not that bad. He can go anywhere as long as he senses a person he recognizes. And the more he gets stronger, I feel like the more Goku just does it willy-nilly. All right. I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. So, when and where should we meet? Plus, it also saves you energy. Think about flying to... Say about... Think about this. You're flying to a destination where there's an ancient villain or an evil villain that you have to face. And he's whooping the shit out of your friends. Instead of flying there at full speed to waste half your energy and take 20 minutes to get there, you could just instant teleport there in two seconds and save all your friends the hell and hassle of beating their ass kicked. You know, of course, they're never going to do that because they want you to... Stre they want to stretch out the anime as long as god dang possible. Androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at 9. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. We're not going to babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Yeah, Yamcha. Kakarot, you may be a Super Saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Don't forget that the number one Saiyan here will always be me. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll see each other in three years. Uh, I love how Goku never... I love how that Goku to this day is the only one that just doesn't give a shit about being the number one Saiyan. He just cares about being strong. Maybe not so much the strongest as he always was, but he always just cares about being strong and being able to fight the strongest character. He doesn't necessarily care about being the best. Never hey, did, really. Don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. He just wanted a tough person to fight. He always liked the challenge. So him and Vegeta having that kind of rivalry is nice because he doesn't really care if Vegeta surpasses him. He just wants to be able to fight someone strong. All right. We better get going. But Goku also sees what kind of effect he has on, or he has on Vegeta, and making him, Goku constantly getting stronger is making Vegeta stronger, therefore making his own rival better. But it's still dumb, Goku doesn't see Vegeta as an accurate rival any longer. Like, they, he really kind of stopped seeing Vegeta as a rival. I don't even, they are considered rivals, but they're not. Because one, they're friends, two, they don't really fight, and three, Goku just goes out of his way to fight anyone stronger and disregards Vegeta's feelings whatsoever. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been dying to fight you again. There you go. See? Instead, yes, I get it. He wants to train his kid. But he could have gone and trained with Vegeta right here and now. While Vegeta probably would have said no, the best person for Goku to fight with would be either A, Trunks, or Vegeta right now. Actually, maybe not. Piccolo is still technically stronger than Vegeta. With Nail fused into him. Technically, yeah, Piccolo would still be stronger. <laughs> sure. I forgot that. I forgot that nail and piccolo fuse thing. Yay! <laughs> I get to train with Mr. Piccolo again. So Piccolo would be his best choice. All right. See you guys soon or in 3 years. Right. Cuz I'm not sure uh making a stop home first. Right dad? Mom's been waiting. Oh yeah, right. Guess I better get some face time in with Piccolo. Is it okay? Fine. But don't waste too much of our time. Because I know, uh... Vegeta had a lot of training since then and, you know, had some power boosts in the time, you know, during the whole thing on Namek with all the fights oh, yeah. that he lost, but... With I still don't I think he wait. is stronger than Piccolo at this point. Mr. Piccolo's pretty strict, you know. Ha! I'm counting on that! <laughs> My 
might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. That was a good workout. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. <laughs> Rip. I don't see any premium gold gazelle meat at all. Looks like there's some ruins over there. Is this the Legacy of Goku 2 uh, ruins that you go to? The Warlord or whatever? Kind of looks like it. It might... It actually... That actually could be the ruins of... No, I was gonna say that could be the ruins of Pilaf's castle, but that should not be nowhere near here. Yeah, that should not be anywhere near here. Huge fish in southeast mountain area. What are you waiting for? This fish is calling. I like the update look on her uh, for the calls. Cool. Glad they did that. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. All right. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> Whoa! Get a load of this lake! Find more golden fish at the south... Golden giant fish at southeast mountain area. Rare massive fish migration.
I mean, there's a sub-quest. I can go do that. Probably going to get on some... Will Goku now back on Earth? A mysterious young man asks to speak with him in private. He reveals his name to be Trunks, explains that he's come from the future to warn the deadly threat that will appear in three years' time. dark I think some bad guys are setting up me oh okay Uh, later on, I'll figure out exactly the best ways to place these. Hey, there it is! You know, Mom's been pretty mad at you for being away for so long. Really? I'm not looking forward to getting yelled at again. <laughs> Trouble lady. Best to deal with this now. Yeah. 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 Here I go. You could never beat me. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I'm pumped up and ready to go.
Nice miss. You could never beat me. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Hey, yo, Yamcha, what's going on? Hey, I got something I need to tell you. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We got a real juicy surprise planned for you. Juicy? Ah, so I can eat the surprise? Huh? Uh, no. Well, I mean, maybe in some sense. <laughs> <sighs> got a party planned to celebrate you coming back. Party for me? Yeah. Yeah, we've all been waiting a long time to see you, and what a better way to bring everyone together than a party. You're gonna come, right? Nah. He has no nose. Gotcha. Yamcha's nose, the way they drew his nose and the way they had it facing forward, he did not have a nose. <laughs> head over there, head over to the area around Luka Village by the East Ravine when you're ready. Yeah. Nice to hold it somewhere else for once. All right. There's a stone bridge. Cool. Bye bye. That was a good one. All right. Was was it now, Goku? Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Yeah. All right. I was meaning to run. Woo! Might cause some 
trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Yamcha doesn't live here anymore, right? Might cause some trouble later. Mm -hmm. Best to deal with this now. My lord. Might cause some trouble here later. Deal with it now. Hey Sora, those look like prime for ingredients. I'm just hideout is different from where I just was. What? Oh. Ah, I see. I'm in the midst. Oh, okay, I'm in the areas between this and Yamcha's hideout. Okay, that makes sense. Stop that. Ready to eat this fish. <laughs> All right, I have fun. This one looks pretty tasty. Alright, I'd say in a little bit I'm going to get on some more Pokemon for the rest of the night. Final Fantasy 4 and other things. Final Fantasy 4 specifically will be tomorrow. There'll be some more Final Fantasy tomorrow. After Pokemon. Or before Pokemon. One of the two. Either way. I've just been in a mood for Pokemon a lot lately. Because even before I really started getting going on Final Fantasy, I was playing Final Fantasy X and X-2 on my own. And then I started Final Fantasy, or the rest of Final Fantasy I, and then I finished that up. Did a lot of two. Oh god, I did a lot of two. Oh god, no. <laughs> uh, I did a lot of Final Fantasy three, and now I'm in the midst of four. So I've been doing a lot of Final Fantasy for a while now. Um, I'm not getting bored of it, I'm just saying it. 
even myself have been playing it by my for a while now, even if you guys haven't been seeing it. Uh, on top of Fantasy Star, which I've been playing Fantasy Star online somewhat on and off for stream and myself, and I've been playing a lot of Fantasy Star 1, 2, and 3, and now I'm on 4, which I haven't even started yet. So I'm just saying this. I've been doing a lot of the same type of turn-based combat for a while now. 4 isn't really... Uh, uh, Final Fantasy IV isn't really as turn-based as it was because they introduced the ATB system, but still, point stands. I was just saying that because one of my uh, guys earlier was saying that Pokemon gets boring after a while. Well, every game does. Every game does. And I get it, I know not every one of my fan base is going to want to watch the same game on a day-in and day-out basis. But then there's there are people who will. Not everyone's a winner, not everyone's a loser. Everyone in my book here is a winner. And don't worry, I have I have plans and open invitations for everyone. I just I'm one person though. And I still haven't even gone and uh, highlighted it much of my videos that I've been making for the past m almost month now or so. I have to go back and take the time to actually start highlighting everything otherwise all these videos are going to start disappearing. And the problem with that is, is a lot of my videos got edit, uh, got cut into separate parts. Is because my con uh, my connection keeps dying, so there's going to be a bit of confusion for me just to get all this edited and, or highlighted. So excuse me, but I will be getting all those out. Don't worry. Found some tasty looking food. Because for anyone who watches only on YouTube, all of those videos will be getting released. Don't worry. I ain't gonna let it happen to. I'm not going to let these series turn into Kingdom Hearts 2, where at least a good two or three episodes are all, like, are missing because I forgot to release them onto YouTube. Which I don't even remember, like, how I, how that happened. I thought I released everything or highlighted everything, but there was, like, two or three videos for Kingdom Hearts that I missed. And I think even Dead Rising 3 has, like, an episode or two that I missed. So I'm sorry if there's any series that I did complete that are missing an episode or two. It's most likely because I forgot to highlight them and they're gone now. Yeah, so I'm trying to avoid it. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I'm gonna take Not gonna let me are you. Don't mind if I take out your drone. Don't 
kid yourself, you could never beat me. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Oh, convenient, the four star ball. I'm looking for some kachin Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. What it is. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Okay. They're getting quite annoying with all of them. I'll make quick work of you. God, that stuns you to hell. Yeah, that, that knocks me the fuck out. You could never beat me. Awesome book for grown-ups. Man, that Reverend Army in their porn magazines. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Are you serious? I can't just fly directly across? Goku, we've been waiting for Hey! You look at me at home and grin your face. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm talking to my lady. Let's get this party started. We got all sorts of tasty dishes. Whoa, Sweet, you're no the way. best! Oh, of course, that poppin'. Yo! Hmm. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Annoying Earth Woman. All right! Time to dig in. Let's go look in the other judgment. They reminisce about their time on planet Namek. As if it didn't just happen not that long ago. Talk about Dende and the Grand Elder Guler as well as what it was like fighting the Ginyu Force and Frieza. But that's not all. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no level, Goku. You're always pulling off those crazy stunts. Is there anything you can't Give me do? A break. That's Super Saiyan transformation. You really are in League of Your Own. Hmm. <laughs> There's no way we could have taken Frieza down without you, Goku. You're the man! Hmm. I think it's pretty safe to say Goku's the strongest guy in the universe at this point. Hmm. Yeah, you might be right. Hey! 
I will not stand for this! You hear me? Don't you dare think for a second that becoming a Super Saiyan makes you the best. Vegeta. Fight me, Kakarot. Let me... Let's say you are the strongest. If I beat you, that would make me number one. What's your problem, Vegeta? Don't be such a party pooper. <laughs> All right, Vegeta. I'm game. W wait! Hmm. You're going to regret this, Kakarot. Jesus! You're not gonna let me stop so I can keep my st state. Far from it. This isn't over. I want a rematch. Wow, Vegeta, you really want to go again? Hey, now! Hmm? You meatheads just blew away all the food! Huh? Oops, sorry about that. You guys are ruining the party. Can't you sell your differences in a way that doesn't destroy the whole place? Here, have my ass. What? Do I want to know? What is this? These are bipedal robo walkers. My company's develop. If you two absolutely have to compete, then race each other in these. Oh god, Vegeta being a part of this? I thought this was Piccolo. Why are you... No. Oh. Don't be absurd! Why the hell would we use those contraptions? <laughs> hey, they seem pretty fun to me. I bet I can actually beat you guys in one of those. Then I'd be the strongest in the universe, at least, kind of. Let me get on that then. I don't want to. S I'd kind of want to see how to do it too. Well, it looks like I just found the next activity for the party. Okay. Let's make this race to remember. I'll give a special prize for whoever comes in first. Within reason, though, I have limits. Your limits are way higher than anyone else, so the prize could basically be anything. This party just got blown wide open. <laughs> oh God. Huh. I guess this is what we're doing now. I'm like Vegeta on this one. Why? <laughs> and Krillin makes it to goal. <laughs> At least Krillin finished first for once. Wait, that's not a good thing. Nice, Krillin. That puts you in first place for now. Whoa, really awesome. That special prize is good as mine. Ah, he beat my time. Hey! Next up is Goku. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna lose, right? Oh boy! And by 
bipedal robo walker time attacks. You race against the clock as you run around, run and jump through checkpoints on your way to the goal. Use arrows will appear. Arrows will appear to near your bipedal robo walker to show you where you go. Touch boost rings to gain extra height on jumps and reach places you would never thought you could. Who knows? Doing so might reveal some useful shortcuts. Dismount. Mineral Raider? Radar. Mineral Radar. Sorry. Jump. Move camera. Change direction. Alright! Let's do this! Uh-huh. Does it? Does it now? We should be able to make it, right? I bet this thing can go even faster. Yeah. Bet it could if I knew what I was doing. I was just going back to those. Maybe that's not the right goal. Yeah, let's retry that. I was just going back the way I came because right. Let's do this. Man, this feels great. What yeah. was that? GG! The race will. Oh my god, no. No, I'll restart the whole race. Alright! Let's do this! God damn it. And what am I supposed to do down here? Screws I'm missing once I take care of this and go again. Go for it! All right. All right. Let's 
Let's do this. Can I re see that again? Oh, in the overworld, not the actual rider. The mini game is different. Okay. Try not to jump over them. Goku. We should be able to make it, right? I bet this thing can go even faster. I don't know. I'm sure I can make it go faster, but is that really this one, or is that just the one in the overworld? Dang it, I jumped off. I meant to just normally walk off. Oh, fuck you then. I'm going to focus on that next time, then. For right now, we're probably going to get back on some Pokemon for the rest of the night. I um, did this for about three hours. Um, I'll be back more on Dragon Ball Kakarot. Don't worry, guys. It's just RPGs for me. Turn-based combat right now has just been in the big, biggest parts right now for me. It's just That's what I'm into at the moment. Uh, but I'll be moving into other types of RPGs due time. But I'm just trying to get through what I've been really wanting to get through and what I'm really now into at the moment. Once I get into a type of franchise or a type of game, it's hard for me to want to play other things. And trust me, it's noticeable. It was noticeable this earlier today when I started this. Only because I was just coming off of Pokemon. My my game literally turning off on me and all that. And So, have a good one, everybody. I will see you tomorrow for more... Uh, for anyone who's not joining me for Pokemon after this, I'll be jo I'll be seeing you tomorrow at around, I don't know, depending on what time I get home tomorrow. So I'm going to say around like 3, two, like 2, 3 p.m., uh, maybe 4 the latest. Have a good night, Infamy. If you're not going to be joining for Pokemon, have a good night. Um, see you tomorrow for, for more of Final Fantasy and whatever else I feel like playing.